In today's video, we're diving into one of the foundational aspects of personal finance, the emergency fund. I'm going to show you the best places to park your three to six month emergency fund. First things first, let's discuss why you need an emergency fund and the benefits of an emergency fund. An emergency fund is your financial safety net, providing peace of mind and a cushion for unexpected expenses like medical bills, car repairs, or job loss. It also protects your investments, since you can just withdraw from your emergency fund instead of having to sell stocks. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of where to park your emergency fund. The number one choice is a high yield savings account. These accounts offer much higher interest rates compared to traditional savings accounts, and your money is just as easily accessible. High yield savings accounts are very popular choices for emergency funds due to the liquidity they provide and how safe they are. The best high yield savings accounts are usually at online only banks. Since online only banks have little or no physical locations, they're able to actually pass on those savings to the customer in the form of paying higher APY. And right now is actually one of the best times to get a high yield savings account and put your emergency fund in there. Since the current APY at many online only banks is over 4% right now. It's much higher right now than it usually is because interest rates have gone up so much. Just make sure they're FDIC insured and in 2023 you can get a very safe 4% APY on money in your savings account. I'll mention two of the best online banks later on in this video. Both pay a high APY and have a generous welcome bonus. Another great option is a money market account. These accounts combine the safety of a savings account with higher interest, although high yield savings accounts will likely be better for most people. Since the interest rates money market accounts pay in 2023 are about the same as high yield savings accounts, which are currently very competitive in the emergency fund meta. Also, money market accounts are more likely to have higher minimum balance requirements compared to high yield savings accounts, especially considering that the best high yield savings accounts usually have no minimum balance requirement or a very low minimum balance requirement. If you're looking for a slightly higher return, consider certificates of deposit, otherwise known as CDs. However, remember that CDs do tie up your money. So opt for short-term CDs. You could even create a CD ladder, which involves splitting up your emergency fund into several different CDs that have different maturity dates. There's usually also a penalty if you try to withdraw funds early when it comes to CDs, although being able to lock in these high rates might be worthwhile for some. Consider keeping some of your emergency fund and high yield savings account and some of it in a CD. Another option is U.S. Treasury bills, also known as T-bills. These government-backed securities are incredibly safe and available in three-month and six-month maturities. Putting some of your emergency fund in a T-bill may be a good option for some, especially considering the high interest rates that we have right now. And the final suggestion is using a Roth IRA as a backup emergency fund. When you contribute to a Roth IRA, you're using money that has already been taxed. Since this money has already been taxed, you can withdraw your contributions penalty-free and without taxes. Just make sure you don't withdraw more than you put in. A Roth IRA will allow you to invest in something like the S&P 500 or some other index fund, and you can also throw in some short-term government bonds if you wanted to. In case of an emergency, you can sell those bonds and withdraw your contributions. I'd like to note that withdrawing Roth IRA contributions should be used as last resort. For the most part, that money is better off in a tax advantage account like a Roth IRA invested in index funds, growing for decades. And there you have it. An emergency fund is the backbone of your financial security. And where you park it matters. Although right now in 2023, I would definitely say that high yield savings account is the way to go. If you also contribute to a Roth IRA, that could be viewed as a last resort backup to your emergency fund. Now the best two online bank accounts in 2023 are SoFi and Capital One. Capital One has a savings account that pays 4.3% APY, and SoFi has a savings account that pays 4.5% APY, although SoFi does require recurring direct deposits in order to get that high APY. Both are fee-friendly, and both currently have welcome bonuses. Use promotion code BONUS350 when opening a checking account with Capital One and you'll receive a generous $350 welcome bonus when you receive at least two qualifying direct deposits of at least $250 within the first 75 days of opening an account. SoFi is offering a $25 welcome bonus when you sign up using someone's referral link and deposit at least $10, with an additional $50 or $250 bonus when you receive qualifying direct deposits of $1,000 or $5,000 within a 25-day period. I'll have links to both of these offers down below. High yield savings accounts are safe and they provide quick, easy access to your emergency emergency fund. With high yield savings accounts, you do not have to lock up your funds at all. If you found this video helpful, consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing for more content. And remember to stay financially fierce.